Okay, folks, check it out. After seeing that thumbnail, you know I'm finna do something a little bit on the Southern style, right? Listen, we're getting ready to do a sausage potato green bean casserole. This is gonna be a good one. Let's get it. Okay, so listen, if you like green beans, you gotta try this recipe right here, right? Super easy to make, and guess what? I'm gonna be using the canned green beans. Listen, I know some of you guys are gonna say, A.B., you always use fresh, but the way we finna make these in the you know, oven right now, we're not gonna have enough to boil them to get them soft, right? I do have some fresh ones, but I got that's for another video. Now, first thing I'm getting ready to do is hit bake. We wanna set our oven to 400 degrees so we can preheat, and we start that, right? Now, I've already washed and peeled, no, excuse me, I already washed and cleaned my uh, potatoes. So look, the first thing I'm gonna do is, look at the size of them, right? I'm just gonna cut these in half, just like that, right? And I'm just gonna put them in a separate bowl. Let me do this, and then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next. Now, if you have something that look like it's gonna be a little bit bigger, you guys can make a decision. This versus this, this is close enough, so they'll be ready about the same size. But if you have them all different sizes, like this is seen to be a little bit of a bigger one, you can just go ahead and cut it down and make it into thirds. Okay, so you see we got this over here. Now I'm getting ready to go ahead and cut down my, my andouille, right? But first thing I'm gonna do is build up a little heat in my pan. All right, so let's put this on about a medium flame. I'm gonna get a little bit of my infused olive oil. You guys can use regular cooking oil. That's fine, just enough to get something going on the bottom. Now I'm gonna cut these down into like little medallions. Now, one of the things I like about this recipe right here is, listen, it's just the ease of doing it, right? You can go ahead and hurry up and do this. You know, get it ready. Prep time probably only take you about 10 to 12 minutes. Once you're done, you stick it in the oven, which I gave you guys already, 400 degrees for a preheat. And because we're using canned, you know, green beans, this right here is the way to go. And if you guys pay attention right there, you see right there, say no salt added. For those of us that's watching it, you know, our salt intake, you know what I mean? Now, that's how we get down, folks. All right, so let me go ahead and get this onion together. Listen, normally we dice, right? But this time we not. Now, I notice it's easier once you cut it for it to be peeled, right? So let me go ahead and just get this. Let me get this first layer off, right? And then we just gonna go ahead and just like quarter or maybe even eighth. Look, this is quarter. I look at the size, then I just cut these down a little bit, right? Because we're gonna soften these up too. I like to get my onions. A little bit of a head start. Now I'm gonna come with my, my andouille. Now I wanna show you one thing about that andouille, especially if you're new here. Take a look at that right there. You see that color of that orange? That's the seasoning in there. That right there is what makes it say andouille, right? So we wanna get a little color on that too. You know what I mean? If you see it like that, a little bit on the dry side, come with a little bit more of your cooking oil. You know what I mean? You hear it kick up a little bit? Ah, oh, yeah. Now look at my fire. Bring it down just a hair. And we let this work. All right, before I put that garlic in there, you see this right here? Look at the color. I can show you right here, look. You see that? That's all the andouille flavor that's in the bottom in the oil, right? I put that oil in there, now we finna come with our butter. I know sometimes I do the butter, but just follow the way I'm doing it right here, folks. It's gonna all make sense. Now, once this is melted, that's when I'm gonna come with the, you know, minced garlic on top. Right now, then it'll be time to season these potatoes and get everything going. My oven is already preheated and it's ready to go. It's waiting on me. All right, so now once we mince, look at that. Now we just take a hard edge. Sometimes I use the back of my knife but if you guys got any wooden utensils, especially the square edge right here, it makes it great to get all your mints, you know, garlic, right? So I set that over there. And then we want that to get in that butter and that andouille mix along with that onion. You guys know the rest. Look at it. This should tell you right off the back that this right here is fire. Now, I'm gonna let this go for maybe about 30 more seconds. Now we're gonna come over here. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of olive oil on it. Really like about an eighth of a cup, right? Now we're gonna add the red pepper flakes. Now it depends on how hot you want this to be. You guys do it like that. You can use a half a teaspoon. You know what I mean? Uh, that right there is probably like about a half. You know what I mean? Then this is where we're gonna get our flavor from. Let me turn my fire off, right? I just turn that off. We don't wanna burn that garlic. But this right here is right. This is my Creole kick. 
right? So we want to season with this, right? So just add a little bit there, right? And then when it comes to the garlic powder, and don't forget, the full ingredient list is on my website. It's smoking and grilling with AB, and that's W-I-T-A-B.com, right? Super simple. And don't forget, listen, even though did you guys go there and you're looking for this recipe, you're trying to get it printable or whatever you want to do to look up the uh, instructions where you can read them, there's other recipes on there that give you guys some suggestions that'll get you going for the next three or four months, right? So what I'm gonna do now is just in multitasking, I'm gonna just spray my 13 by nine. We don't want nothing to stick, right? That's all we need. I'm gonna take this and I'm getting ready to just mix this together. You wanna get it all coated. All right, so look, I got it all coated, right? Where is my, okay, so we are gonna go with my salt. Listen, these are potatoes, folks. Remember we put the stream, we doing stream beans that says no salt added. This is why you wanna get as much low sodium as possible when cooking. That way you can put what you wanna put in there and you can control your sodium, right? So I'm just gonna give it two, you know, just regular pinches right now. And then when it come to this right here, talk to me folks, let's grind. Just give it a little mix. Now, I'm getting ready to take everything that was in here, everything, the butter, everything. We just gonna add it, onions. You just saw some of the minced garlic in here. We wanna get it all. That's all of our flavor, folks. Now, we just take this. Now you see how the flavor get on this? Oh my goodness. I know y'all thinking like, dang, A.B., you always had them recipes. Look at that right there. Mm, it almost look ready to eat right now. Now, remember, when it comes to them flakes, it's up to you. Now, we got a little chicken broth right here or chicken stock, whichever you guys have that you're using. Right, we're going to put that in there and let that kind of like work and steam a little bit. But this is what we're going to do. Now, I'm going to go ahead. Look, these have already been drained, right? So I'm going to go ahead and mix them right here. You know what I mean? Because we want to get all of the flavor on. I'll start with just a one can. I know some of y'all were looking at that like, man, that 13 by nine might not do it, but you can see, look at that right there. And notice I didn't use no uh, no pork, right? No bacon or nothing like that. Did it this way just to get you guys in the game. For those of you guys that don't eat pork, you know what I mean? Uh, this will be equally as good as when we do it the other way. Right, but that there, folks. Oh, you can hear it in my voice. That is right. All right, so I'm gonna set this off. Let me move this out of my way. This, move that over, bring this into play. We've already sprayed this, right? So now we take our bowl with everything mixed. Come on in and get you a little eye candy, folks. All right, so when you're done, you should end up looking like this, right? Now, you remember we had a little bit of this left over? What you wanna do is, I don't wanna pour it on the top because I don't wanna rinse none of my seasoning off, right? So I go over here to the corner and I just pour it down like that. And we let gravity, and you know, take take its course, right? It will level and do everything on its own. You know what I mean? But we just wanna have a little bit of liquid down here so that it'll help steam that, right? And get it nice and hot. Once we get it covered, we put this in for about 40 minutes. What we checking for, what you wanna check for is to make sure that your uh, potatoes is nice and soft to the texture that you guys like, right? So. I'm gonna open this, hurry up, put it in. Don't forget about 40 minutes. I'll probably check it at about 35 minutes just to see where we're at, if I need to add more time or whatever. Okay, so let's check it out. I haven't removed my foil or nothing like that. You know, since I did check it, I just let it stay in for the full 40 minutes, right? So when I take that off right there, look at that right there. That's him, folks. That's that masterpiece. Okay, so look, <clears throat> you guys can see it. This is it right here. Now, you wanna know, I want you guys to tell me, what would you serve this with? I'm gonna give you one and I'm gonna take this off everybody's plate. I'm gonna say, this go great with some fried chicken. You know what I mean? Just all of the, the Cajun and then a the little smooth little heat. You know what I mean? Uh, be careful with them red uh, pepper flakes. Cause listen, they will kick it up. And then I use Creole Kick. They say Creole Kick for a reason. This right here got that Southern Cajun slash Creole type of, uh, you know, taste to it. So I'm gonna go ahead, get me a fork. I'm getting ready to just, whew, my goodness. Get some of that, get me this, and then I'm gonna come back and get a potato. You know what I mean? Uh, but right now, I'll just start like this. Cheers, y'all. Mm. 
Hey, I'm gonna let the dish speak for itself. One more time, take a look at that right there. Listen, these potatoes right here, hands down, is it, right? You're talking about a complimentary, complimentary you know, uh, potatoes, the green beans, and the andouille, you know what I mean? Just the whole thing, they all run hand in hand. This right there, here is it, right? So let's just say this was ready with some fried chicken and some mac and cheese, right? Fried mac, uh, yeah, fried chicken, mac and cheese, green beans. If you put that out by seven, everybody sleep by a quarter to eight. Hey, with that being said, let me know what you guys would do to level it up. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to smash that like. Don't forget to tell everybody out there. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And I'm going to be honest with y'all folks. I'm finna just give me a bowl, put a little bit of this in a bowl, and I'm finna sit down and drink my Kool-Aid. Guess what, folks? I'm out. Peace.